Now, from uh, where variants come from to how the vaccine trials have been done, viewers still have so many questions about the virus and the vaccines. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is back to tackle another round of your questions submitted through clickondetroit.com. Hi, Doc. Hey, Kim and Evan. Yeah, a viewer asks, should we wait more than a month to get the second shot because of the side effects? The answer is no. You should get the vaccine as close to 21 days after for the Pfizer vaccine and 28 days for Moderna. Now, here are some more of your questions. Janice asks, how do these variants form? Every time a virus replicates, there are potential errors in the genetic instructions that are passed on to the next generation of virus. We label a virus a variant when a number of these errors or mutations accumulate and change something important about the virus. The UK or South African variants have a large number of mutations, and most likely they developed in a single individual who was infected for a long time. That allowed each mutation to add on to the ones that happened earlier in that infection. Linda asks, I'm allergic to shellfish. Is it safe for me to have the COVID vaccine? This question has come up quite a bit. The answer is yes. There are no food allergies that make the vaccine unsafe. Another viewer asks, health officials keep stating that the studies done to support the emergency use authorization of the COVID vaccine resulted in this outcome or that. Would different studies have been done had this not been for emergency use authorization? And if so, how would they have differed? The studies supporting the emergency use authorizations are solid, but because of the nature of the pandemic and urgency for a vaccine, long-term outcomes are not available. And that's really the biggest difference, time. Generally, drug approvals require both proof of safety and substantial evidence of efficacy. Traditionally, this is based on more than one well-controlled trial. Now, Pfizer and Moderna have both indicated that they do plan to seek full FDA approval, but that will require more time to collect that longer-term data. Now, other vaccines, they may face even more challenges meeting those requirements because as more people become vaccinated, there will be far fewer willing to participate in trials for a therefore unproven vaccine. Yeah. So, uh, Frank, I mean, the snow is forcing a lot of vaccination sites to reschedule the shots that were supposed to be uh, done today. We've reported on that. Uh, should people be concerned if their second dose has been rescheduled? Well, important question today, Kim. You know, ideally, those second doses should be rescheduled for as soon as possible. But the CDC has said doses that are given up to six weeks after the first dose are still considered valid. But honestly, I would hope that the vaccination sites get everyone rescheduled very quickly mm -hmm. and they put a priority on getting those second doses given in a more timely fashion than yeah. six weeks. Yeah. Back Sounds to like you. most of them have. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, thank you.